Hi there. Do any of those expressions look familiar? I think we did a bit of work with uh, expressions like this before when we were getting to uh, know how to work with X as a number. Let's go back and check it now. If we come over to this one over here, um, what would you say that means? It's 2 times 3X or 2 lots of 3X. Surely that would mean a total of 6X. If you had three dogs and a mate had three dogs, You've got two lots of three dogs, you've got six dogs between you. Let's do another one. Come down here, neg two times seven x. Now two lots of seven x will be fourteen x. So we've got negative fourteen x. Because we've got negative two times seven x. Uh, Want to do a harder one. Come up the top here. Two x times x. Now numbers together and the letters together we found before so it's two lots of x times itself oh that's right that was a square any number and x is just a number remember times itself is the square uh, what about over here that's interesting got negative two x times negative x that'd be times negative x squared x times x is x squared and then negative times the negative is a positive so that's getting a bit harder negative times a negative is a positive there and x times itself is a square hmm think about that one. Oh, someone's done something funny here they got sick of x they've used a well i suppose you could do that you could let a different number uh, letter stand for a number so I guess A is just another pronumeral standing for a number. So what's this saying to us? With a bracket, you might remember bed mass from prep school. It's the order in which you have to do operations. So here we'll do the brackets. So what does that mean? Neg A times neg A. You want to square all of neg A. So that means squaring is a number times itself. So let's do it. The number is neg A times itself is neg A. Here we have a negative times a negative is a positive and A times itself is A squared. So we just write that as A squared. So it looks a bit different but it isn't really, is it? If you uh, just remember X and now we've got A and other, other letters just stand for numbers. Want to try some? I've got some down here for you. There's a little batch down here. So uh, you like, might like to pause the presentation now and uh, have a go uh, at these four. And then uh, I'll come along in a minute and uh, see if we got them right. All right, well, back again now. Let's do this first one. 4x times 5. You could think of that as 5 lots of 4x. 5 times 4 is a total of 20x. And now in the next one, we've got to look at the numbers together. 3 times 2 is 6. And this number and this number are the same, whatever the number x stands for. And the number times itself is the square, so it's x squared. Let's have a look at the next one. We have 3 lots of, or 3 times, 3 lots of neg 2x. I don't know, if you have three lots of neg 2x, where's neg 2x? Oh, it's over here somewhere. If you have three lots of it, I think you'll be down at neg 6x. That's another way of just checking out what you're doing. There's a number line. Does x belong on the number line? Oh, yep. x is just another number. So uh, 3d times neg 2d here. Well, we better look at the numbers together. 3 times neg 2. Positive times a negative is a negative. And then here's a number d times d. A number times itself is the square. So uh, we've got neg 6d squared. How did you go there? Did you get all those right? You might have just think about these, this little bundle here and see how you go. All right, so what else have we done so far? Oh, well, we did a few like this back in fraction land. Um, when we were multiplying things in brackets by a number outside. 
But let's see what we were doing over here if we looked at 3 times x plus 2. We said that everything inside the bracket has to be, has to be multiplied by 3. So it's 3 times x is 3x plus 3 times 2 is 6. Want to go up at the top here? Do one at the top. This is neg 3 times 2x. Negative times the positive is negative 6x. And then neg 3 by neg 1. Negative times the negative is a positive. It's po positive 3. I don't know. Where do we want to go next? Over to the right, maybe, over here. Okay, so... Here, oh, x is just a number, so we can do that. x is just another number, so x times x is a number times itself is the square of the number, plus then x times 3. Remember, we always put the number in front, 3x, in front of the x term. OK, and the last one down here, a bit of a mixture here. It's 3 by x is 3x. And then it's 3 by neg 4, which would be neg 12. And then we've got another one happening over here. 2 times 5 is 10. And then 2 times plus x is positive 2x. So now, with this, we've seen something like this before. We can collect up the terms that are like each other. 3 times a mystery number, x, plus 2 times the same mystery number must be five lots of that mystery number. Then we can say these numbers are different, they're just the ordinary number neg 12 plus 10 would be neg 2. Just revision, revision here. Neg 12 would be way down here at neg 12. And if we added 10, oh yeah, plus 10 working back the other way, we would still be at neg 2. Just a little bit of revision there. OK, are you ready? Guess what I've got for you. And then we'll stop this presentation. It's a short one, this one. I don't want you to get tired. So down here are your problems. Just sitting there and just waiting for you. Look at them. Don't they look fantastic? So you might like to pause the presentation now and have a look through those. I mean, you can pause me at any time and uh, then come back and have a look at how we do them together then. All right, we're back now. Let's start over here. Here we go. 3 times y is 3y plus 3 times 1 is 3. Let's do the second bracket. Plus 6 times 2 is 12. And 6 times negative, all oh, positive times a negative, is a negative 6y. Well, we've got y's in the act now. What have we had so far? N's and X's uh, and A just a while ago, and now we've got y's. Doesn't matter. I don't think so. These pronumerals, these letters, are standing for numbers. But we can do everything we like with them, as long as we obey the number rules. So let's start doing that. 3y take 6y. How would you do that? Let's have a look. We'd go 3y on the number line from 0 and then take 6y. Well, we'd be down at neg 3y. So you can do it, but just like with ordinary numbers. So we've got neg 3y and then 3 and 12 are like each other. That's a total of 15, you're adding the 2 up. Alright, so shall we go down this left-hand column? They look a bit similar to each other. So let's have a look at this next one. 2 times y is 2y. Take 2 times 3 is 6. And then neg 4 times 2y. Neg 8y and negative times a positive. Then neg 4 by 1 is neg 4. Let's collect them up again. We've got two y's, two lots of a certain number. Take eight of the same number, you'll have neg six lots of y. Same as two take eight would be neg six. So two lots of y take eight lots of y would be neg six lots of y. 
Let's look at the ordinary numbers now. Neg 6 take 4 is neg 10. Okay, so uh, we might have just a little bit more working room down here. Let's go down to the bottom one. We've got 3x, nothing happening there. And then take 4 by 2 is neg 8. And then negative by negative here, neg 4 times neg 3x. Neg 4 by neg 3 is plus 12, lots of x. So there we have 3x and 12x. 3 dogs plus 12 dogs is 15 dogs. 15x. Uh, take 8. No numbers to collect up there. Okay. Let's go up to the top here now. <coughs> Remember, x is just a number, so when you multiply a number by itself, it's the square. And then x by 4. Remember, we put the number in front of x, 4x. Neg 2 by x is neg 2x. Then neg 2 by neg 3 is plus 6. Okay, what can we collect? Well, there's no other ones like x squared. That's the only dude like that there. But 4x take 2x. Four dogs take two dogs. I think it's two dogs. 2x plus 6. Did you get it right? Remember, don't let me get ahead. Pause me at any stage. Study what's happening. And then move on. Let's have a look at this one now. 5 lots of 2x is 10x. 5 lots of neg 1 is neg 5. Then neg 2x. Oh, there's nothing in front here. We can think of it as neg 1. Neg 1 lots of 2x is neg 2x. And then neg times positive 3 is negative 3. Let's collect up the x's. Here's one. Here's a bundle. 10x. Take 2x. How many x's you got left? 8x. Then neg 5, take 3, neg 8. Did you get it? Okay. Is it starting to make sense? You might have to pause, rewind the presentation, just check it out again. Let's do this one down the bottom. 4x by x. Well, the 4 is only one number there, but x by x, number times itself, is the square. Then 4x by neg 3... Neg 3 times 4, negative times a positive is a negative 12x. And then neg 2x by 5, negative 2 times positive 5 is negative 10x. And then neg 2x by neg x. Now let's do the negatives. Negative times a negative is a positive. And you've got 2 there and x by x is x squared. It's going to be plus 2x squared. Well, this is the first time we've had bundles of x squareds that we can collect up. If x is just a number, x squared is just a number. And we've got four lots of them over here and two lots of them here. We've got six lots of that particular number. Now we've got 12x, neg 12x, take 10x. Well, that's all going down the left-hand side here of the number line. It's all going negatively. So how far would we have gone? Neg 12 and then a neg 10. We'd be down at neg 22. All going negatively here. So it's neg 22, lots of x. Did you get it? Are you having fun? Well, we've got more fun coming up because we're going to look and we're coming to the end here, almost here, of our algebra. We're going to look uh, later on at where's this all going. And that's a very interesting uh, presentation right at the end there. But at the moment, we've only got a little bit more multiplication of expressions to do. So uh, I'll catch you in the next presentation.